welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Elina if you're new here welcome in today's video I have an almost full face of elf I personally love elf um, I think they're a very affordable brand but also quite hip <laughs> quite cool but then again I am 40 so cool to me might mean something different um, but yeah I quite like the fact that they can stay quite affordable and they can have products that are um, kind of on trend so these are all the new items that I'm going to try today and I have a couple that I had from before from my collection I shopped both on the elf website and uh, also in Superdrug <laughs> as you can tell from here they have a three foot two so I took advantage of that so I am a lover of beauty and makeup and I love trying new makeup but I also love rediscovering old favorites I don't try as much new makeup as other youtubers obviously um, I have to take my budget into account so this is kind of like a normal person's new makeup I would say I hope uh, that is quite relatable um, yeah so if you want to see what other videos I do I would love it if you check them out and maybe you subscribe and hit the bell Okay, so the first item I have here is the Elf Flawless Satin Foundation and I've chosen shade Natural. You get 20ml and less, so uh, less than the usual 30ml. So that's what it looks like. It's quite moussey, I quite like that. It seems like it's going to match, so that's good. Right, what I'm going to do, because I started on this side, I'm going to use my fingers on this side and I'm going to use a brush on this side. I don't have any primer on, by the way. Um, sometimes I do like to test foundations on without primer first, just to see exactly how they sit on my skin. I do have a moisturizer and, um, not foundation, <laughs> a moisturizer and SPF on. It doesn't seem that easy to stretch with the fingers um, but I think that's a sign that it's going to set so I'm not going to need any powder which is good because I don't have any elf powder so I'm just gonna go with the brush just to make sure it stretches and then I'm just going to wet this on into the brush I'm using, by the way, is the Real Techniques 200. But so far, I like this. Um, oh, it does need to set a bit, so I'm gonna wait. So, okay, so far, I do like the finish of this. It is quite nice and satin. Um, satin finish foundations are kind of like the most for forgiving ones, in my opinion. I think they're suitable all, all year round and suitable for most skin types and for most ages as well um so yeah i do like it so far it hasn't sunk in my pores too much it's just a little bit it's something that's probably going to be a lot better with a primer um it doesn't seem to emphasize my lines uh but then again you know i haven't put too much on uh medium coverage i'm guessing it's buildable shall we try a little bit i'm gonna try it um on the bits that I get red redness. I think I've got a little bit too much on my brush. Yeah, it seems to build up quite nice as well. We'll see how it will look like once it sets a little bit on this area because that's where my pores are the biggest as well. Um, right, so let's put that away. For concealer, I have the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. Um, this is in shade light peach and does it say how much you get on this uh, it doesn't say how much you get on this but I will put on the screen um, this I found quite good for my under eye but not so good for over my face because it does emphasize um, all my pores um, it has kind of like this huge applicator um, but you only need a little bit As you can see a little bit goes such such a long way next 
next I'm going to go on to eyeshadow and I'm going to use the 18 Hit Wonders palette. I really really enjoy this palette. There are a few uh, shades in here that are like so worth it getting this palette just for those shades at least for me. Um, if you want to see more swatches I have those on my Instagram and um, also I have a little palette collection video where I've swatched a few of these shades. I got this for my lips uh, which is the sheer slick and shade in shade orange so i'm going to do something warm tone for my eyes so it matches the lips i think i'm going to start with peachy in my crease this is just a big fluffy brush it's uh, actually a profusion brush that came with one of their palettes i think i'm going to dip in that with summer right there for the same brush And I'm actually going to take an elf brush. This is an eye crease brush. So it's a bit smaller, so you can get like a bit more defined color. Um, not sure whether it's this, they still do this. It's one of their cheaper brushes, but they're still very decent. And I am going to go into Supreme. And then I'm going to use this fluffy brush again, just to blend. And then for my lid, I think I'm going to take quartz. I think I'll take it on my finger. I think this shade works a little bit better on, uh, with the finger. And then go back to the fluffy brush just to blend a little bit. I'm also gonna use this for my under eye and I'm going to go back into Supreme. And then use my fluffy brush for blending with whatever it's got on. Okay, next step is mascara. And for mascara, I have the Big Mood Mascara. This only comes in black. And how much do you get in here? 9 mil. So pretty um, standard. So we have the mascara. And that's the brush. Oh, quite a lot. This looks like a brush that might suit my eyelashes. I'm gonna be a rebel and not curl them first. Not bad. Okay, that was the first coat. I do have a bit of smudging, which, uh, it's something that happens a lot with me. Yeah, mascara is not bad at all. Uh, let's see what it's supposed to do. It says it's got an hourglass shaped brush to help lift and separate lashes. Now definitely see the lift and the separation. That's things that I've noticed first. Uh, volume, it's there a little bit as well. So yeah, I might do another coat as well. It is quite a wet formula, but it's not clumping my lashes, which is good. So yeah, I'm, I quite like this mascara. Then the next pro product I have is the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. Uh, I've chosen Nitro Brown for this one, but then um, it arrived and I'm like, ooh, this is a bit dark, but we'll see. Um, so it has a spoolie on one end and it's a twisty up uh, pencil, which I quite like. The spoolie is a little bit rigid, but we'll see how it feels. All right, let's start doing this. Alright, so one thing I like is because the pencil uh, itself is so thin, you can actually do a lot of those hair-like strokes. Now that I'm very good at it. <laughs> yeah, the spoolie is a little bit scratchy, but uh, the pencil itself seems to warm up a little bit as you use it. And um, at first it felt quite um, hard, I would say, but yeah, it's much softer once it's been used a little bit. I am going to move on to face products and I have the Putty Bronzer and I've chosen a shade, Feeling Shady and I'm kind of hoping that this will be a shade that's good for contour as well. I kind of like neutral tones for my bronzer lately. 
So there it is. I want to give it a little... Ooh, feels nice. Yeah, and that looks like it was going to be a good shade as a um, contour. So I'm just going to take a stippling brush. They do do a brush for their potty products. Um, I just want to try it with what I have first. Yeah, that's definitely a good one for contour. So I don't know how much it shows on camera, but I've only used a little bit as my first experience with the product. So I'd rather go little by little. Um, and I think I'm happy with how it looks right now. I think it's just um, enough, at least for real life. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to move on to blush and highlight. So for blush and highlight, I've chosen the Elf Bite Size uh blush and highlight duo in spiced apple um, the highlight looks a little bit darker in real life than it is on the on the website but it's okay it's mostly the blush that I was after um, if I don't like the highlight and it can always go with um, eyeshadow so there we are I think the highlight will definitely be better for eye as eyeshadow for me I'm gonna use a big blush brush for the blush. I think I'm gonna skip the highlight. Um, and this is the Real Techniques 400. Oh yeah, blush is definitely what I'm into right now and I think it's gonna be nice blush for autumn. Could try the highlight on my eyes. <laughs> As I seem to be using a lot of highlights lately. Uh, I'm actually going to use this brush, this is the Zoeva 234. I'm not sure it shows that well over uh, whatever I had on, uh, but let's put some more on and we'll see the difference to the other eye. Okay, and all we have left is the lipstick. Like I said, I've chosen the Sheer Slick in shade Orange. Again, I'm kind of like into orangey tones a lot lately. Um, and I don't have as many lipsticks that are like this tone. If you want to see my lipsticks, recently I've done a shop and stash. Uh, basically, I switched up my lipstick for uh, the autumn season. So I took out everything that was pinkier and I put more neutral and uh, warmer tones in. Um, so yeah, you can see what I have there. Um, Right, this is Orange Crush, not Orange, sorry. Uh, how much do you get in these? You get 1.9 grams. And in the uh, Bite Size Duos, you get 4.6 grams. That's nice. So you can see it there. All right, let's see. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so there's my full face of Elf. I would say this was quite a success. Um, I only had two products that I was familiar with from before, um, and the rest were completely new. Um, I don't think there was anything that I didn't like. So yeah, I do like everything. Uh, the only one I'm like a little bit, um, I need more experience with is the brow pencil. Um, but I don't know, I like, quite like everything. If I were to choose just a few that impressed me, I would say would, it would be the mascara and the putty bronzer just because it's so different and I like the color of it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I really like everything. I think the foundation has set very nice. Like this is without primer and I'm 40 year old. So it has set very nice. Uh, seems like the mascara is late. Uh oh, <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just sang its praises. Uh, but yeah, that happens. I will probably do uh, insert a check-in here as well. Okay, so just a quick check-in. Uh, it's been about six hours and a half. Um, I have a part-time job, so I've been to my job and I've done what I needed to do for today. Um, I will uh, pretty soon do bedtime for my daughter, which means that I might lie with her for a little while. Um, so my cheek products will be wiped. <laughs> so I thought I'll do the checking now. I quite like how the foundation's been. It's been quite a humid day today. So I have a oily T-zone, which means that I have sweated and also I had extra oil on my T-zone. So there is some foundation rubbed off, especially from my chin. 
but otherwise it has lasted quite well um, usually when it's humid like today I wear something very lightweight very um, low coverage especially for that reason this foundation is it's not heavy it's definitely not heavy it's not the most lightweight though uh, so it's probably one that I wouldn't pick for very humid days. <laughs> I have wiped my brows a little bit because it looked nice on camera, but in real life it was a bit too much and I was a little bit self-conscious. So I wiped them off a little bit in case I, in, the pigment is not bad. That's because of me. The mascara is fine. Um, I think it does flake a little bit, but I'll have to keep using it. It was only the first use. Um, and with mascaras is usually around week two that I kind of like know uh, exactly how they perform so I'm sure I'll use it again if not uh, on YouTube it will be on my Instagram oh and speaking of the foundation I do want to try it with a glowy primer I think it's gonna look quite nice um, and also it kind of like sunk in into these lines which is again quite normal uh, but I'm not looked quite fine and it still looks quite fine the lipstick which I pre-applied just now that one was a little bit weird um, it, it goes on quite creamy but then it dries down after that I think it might have to do with the humidity in the air again because I do sweat when it's humid which means that I can get dehydrated and my lips will get dehydrated so I think it kind of like just suck the moisture out of the lipstick so again that, that's another one that I will have to um, update you on <laughs> overall I'm I'm happy with the foundation like I said not the best day for it um, only the first application I'm quite happy with mascara I'm quite happy with the um, even with the lipstick um, definitely happy with the blush and with the um, body bronzer so yeah, I'm happy with everything. <laughs> so yeah, let me know have you used e.l.f. before, if you do, what's your favourite product. Just before you go, a reminder to give this video a thumbs up, this really helps me out. Uh, I would love it if you check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end and I will see you in my next video. Bye!